Okay, a quick little report on Bitcoin. Uh, Bitcoin is going to bounce back a little bit. Uh, she's almost, uh, I think, I don't think she's going to cross down below uh, 2,000 before she's going to bounce back some. She's not going to bounce, I don't think she's going to bounce back to where she, uh, to the, to the 2,800. I think that was the peak. 2,800 was a peak. Uh, I think she's going to bounce back, uh, somewhat from where she is, uh, which she's going to go down. I think she's going to go down to 2,000. And then she's going to hit resistance, and then she's going to bounce back up some. Uh, and I think she's going to settle in. Uh, settle in. Uh, so uh, uh, Bitcoin showed amazing strength, you know, in this. I never thought it would get past maybe twenty-two to twenty-four hundred before this would happen. I was surprised it got all the way up to. Uh, 2800 you know over 2800 uh, it's amazing the strength it's showing uh, so this shows me that next time she goes into this uh this pattern of a wave pattern she's it's going to be exponentially bigger than it was this time uh plus all the other cryptocurrencies are going to be carried up with it i've all often said that bitcoin reminds me of a of a circus tent you know <laughs> <laughs> Bitcoin's a center pole. When they lift the center pole, all the other uh, uh, tent poles come up with the center pole. And Bitcoin is the center pole for the cryptocurrencies. Uh, and all the other cr cryptocurrencies. And it's always been this way. And I think it's going to stay this way. Really, honestly. And uh, I think Bitcoin is number one. It's going to stay number one. I think that uh, you're looking at some strong contenders here with Ethereum, Litecoin, um, Dash, you know, looking at strong contenders. Uh, they're good coins to have. And eventually, I think they're going to be worth more than Bitcoin is now, these these coins like Dash. One Dash would probably wor be worth uh, more than a Bitcoin is worth right now. But by that time, by that time what will a Bitcoin be worth? That's the question. Uh, this is a great uh, opportunity to get in on the ground floor of, of investments in cryptocurrencies, but it's also a great opportunity to get on the ground floor of investments in, in uh, precious metals. Uh, you, Honest to Pete, I'm going to tell you, you really got to start thinking about getting out of, uh, of paper assets uh, like the dollar and, and uh, other uh, fiat currencies because... Uh, I've been watching the prices in the, in the grocery store in my locality, and I know it's the same all over. They say that there's only 1% or 1% or 2% or inflation, but I'm watching, uh, uh, I calculated it tonight at uh, inflation rate of 20 to 30% uh, here in Canada. And I know in the United States, it's probably closer to 20%. It's not quite as bad as it is here in Canada, but it's probably around 20%. Uh, it's incredible the inflation rate, and and they're not reporting it because they're cheating on it. They're doing things like uh, shrinkflation. They're shrinking the shrinking everything down uh, into smaller portions, and then saying it costs the same price, uh, even though you're only getting half as much as you were before. Uh, they're pulling tricks like that to try to uh, uh, make the inflation rate look better on paper. Uh, but uh, in reality, the inflation rate every year, you're probably paying 20% more for your groceries and, and across the board for everything. Your groceries is, is one of your big expenses uh, every month for, for living costs, along with your rent. Uh, they, say, uh, very, uh, they say that uh, uh, if uh, interest rates were to go up 1%, uh, mortgages will go up 10%. For every 1% interest rates go up, mortgage is going to go up 10%. And people just cannot maintain this kind of, uh, uh, this is something that's uh, intolerable. So listen, thank you very much for listening. Like and subscribe. This is your report on Bitcoin. Uh, I think that Bitcoin is going to uh, is going to stabilize uh, pretty soon. Uh, I don't think it's going to, I don't think it's going to go as low as I thought it was going to go. It's showing amazing strength. I'm surprised by the strength it's showing uh, cryptocurrency is. And this is 
proof positive. Uh, the strength that the shown in cryptocurrency is absolute proof po positive that uh, that the dollar's in big trouble, and and all fiat currencies are in big trouble because this is the only reason at all why they're running to these uh, these uh, alternative currencies and alternative uh, uh, things like uh, like like uh, cryptocurrencies, which is new to everyone, but they're running to it. They're running to it because. Uh, and they're not running to silver and gold, and the reason why is because they're scared because the government's able to suppress the price so good using the derivatives. And uh, if they turn uh, Bitcoin into an ETF, then they'll have a derivative on that, and they'll be able to manipulate the price to a certain degree. And don't think they can't. Uh, they can. Uh, they can manipulate the price upwards, and then once they get the price high enough that they can detach the uh, Bitcoin. Uh, price from the uh, physical bit which I can't really call it physical Bitcoin but you can call it physical Bitcoin in a way that you hold it in your wallet we we'll call that the physical Bitcoin we'll call it that for lack of a better name uh, once they get so that they can detach that and so that the Bitcoin price actually follows the derivative price then they can manipulate the, the price of Bitcoin but first they'd have to manipulate it upwards in order to detach it see uh, that's what they'd have to do first. So, uh, and then they could manipulate the price downwards then, once they've detached it. Once the price starts to follow the, the derivative price, then they can manipulate the derivative price downwards. So, thank you for listening. Like and subscribe. And we'll catch you in the next article. Bye.